Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing just great. I'm here with a brand new video and this time this is about PHP. But it's not exactly PHP, it's also about HTML. That's right. What we are going to do is that in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can use PHP inside the HTML file. Normally what we do is uh, if you want to use or call the PHP functions or whatever, we just use the PHP file name, the extension .php, and that's how we can use the uh, the PHP uh, code. But this time I'm going to be using it inside the HTML, and uh, you know what? Let's just uh, save it, and then uh, I'm going to go to the preview and let's show you what is happening behind the scene. So as you can see, the I have a blank screen because uh, there is something that needs to be done and uh, we'll do that right now. We have something called as .htaccess and we can write some code here that will let us or that will allow us to use the PHP inside the HTML. So without further ado, let's get started with that. Okay. So what we do is that we write some code. It is, we start by typing remove and because we don't want the HTML or the HTM instead of that what we want is we want to add type as application PHP and will be using dot PHP extension and should work with the dot HTM or dot HTML so that's it now I'm going to save all this and now I'm going to go to the preview and let's see what we get this time. Alright, there is something that is not working and let's find out what that is. Okay, preview in browser and let's see what we get. Alright, there is something not working. Let's see what that is. Okay, I'm gonna go back and refresh. Voila! What do you have it? Okay, yes, the PD was not there. Okay, so, uh, but the thing seems to be working fine. There is some typo, I don't know what went wrong. But this is how we do it, guys. Uh, now we are calling the, or we are using the PHP inside the .html file. If you rename it to .htm, it's gonna work because here we have specified HTML or HTM is gonna work either way. And uh, that's how we do it. All we do is that write this code inside the .htaccess. That's how you create the file and it has to be inside the root. And uh, your code will work. In my next video, I'm going to talk about if this file does not work, how we can fix that. What I mean by that is if you have written down this code and you still do not get the correct PHP, there is a way to fix that. We have to go inside the Apache folder and go. There are ways to fix that. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how we can fix that. But if your HTX does not work, there is a way to do that. And uh, I'll show you that in my next video, so do join me in my next video and have yourself a good day. Thank you.